There's one word for this month's energy report, intense. Stay tuned. Namaste, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across the planet, around the world. My name is Greg Prescott with In5D.com, and you are tuned in to another episode of our mid-month energy report for our Patreon users for the month of January 2020. Let's get busy. Now, doesn't it seem like New Year's Eve was a long time ago, like longer than two weeks ago? Is time moving that quickly? It's, you know, I can't believe that New Year's Eve, here it is two weeks later. It feels like it was like a month ago or longer, much longer. So time is speeding up. Things are picking up. And that includes with what's going on in the world for the last two weeks. So, okay. So do you guys remember (laughs) way back on January 3rd, we had that 17 hour Schumann resonance whiteout or blackout that we see right here. And it's ironic that it ended up being 17 hours, 17 being the letter Q and standing for the great awakening. Another thing I want to show you guys is this. What we're looking at here is a list and a map of currently active volcanoes and earthquakes. So what I zoomed in on right here is what's going on in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Now, if you go to Facebook and type in Puerto Rico and do a search for this week, scroll down and you'll find a video on there called Puerto Rico earthquakes are man-made. Let's play a clip from that. I work with the government of Puerto Rico, natural resources. They are pumping crude oil out of southern part of Ponce maybe five to ten miles out with oil rigs they're drilling they are drilling and they're hitting the plates that are not controlling the island which it shakes they are also pumping gas natural gas and this is forming earthquakes they're saying that these are natural disasters But the natural disaster is not natural. It's caused by human negligence. That report's coming from a government official in Puerto Rico. So we know that there's a little trickery going on, especially off the coasts of Puerto Rico. And, you know, to everyone, our friends and family that are down there, you know, we're sending out positive intentions and love to you. Stay safe. Okay. If we zoom out on this map, we see this and you can see an overlay right here. I'll hide the earthquakes and then the volcanoes. We'll put the earthquakes in and now we'll overlay the volcanoes. And you can see a correlation to many of these earthquakes. Wherever there's earthquakes, there are volcanoes. Right now, there are 81 active volcanoes. And if you scroll down, you can see all the ones that are listed. And if you look at the key, the burgundy means a major eruption is going on. Red is erupting. Uh, Mustard yellow is a minor activity eruption warning. And yellow means that there is an unrest, but a uh, volcano eruption could happen at any of those yellow markers. Now, I'm not sure why Puerto Rico is being specifically targeted, but I have a feeling it has something to do with the IRS. Now, if you go to YouTube, there's a video circulating there titled IRS can't collect systems are down. So is it possible that these two are tied together somehow the earthquakes and the IRS being down? I don't know. Time will tell. So actually looking back, the craziness began last year (laughs) on New Year's Eve. I, on New Year's Eve, I had, a New Year's Eve extravaganza on N5D. And if you go to the N5D YouTube channel, scroll down and check out my New Year's Eve video. On that video, I made a number of predictions for 2020 and beyond. Here's one of them. 
ultimately one year from now, you will not know reality as what you know it today. It's going to change for the better to a point where it may be unrecognizable to many people one year from now. That's it. So that prediction is exciting on its own, right? But wait, there's more. So a few days later, this video came out and it came out on January 4th with Allison Co. Uh, being interviewed by James Gilliland. Let's check that out. Um, what's coming up for people as far as, uh, as, as what's happening now and what do they see in the future, you might say? Oh man, I had my first client of 2020 the other day and uh, I just very, I don't know why, but normally I don't ask my own, my own questions, but she was on some subject that allowed for, for me to ask this kind of question. And I was like, what is, what does 2020 look, you know, what does the year ahead look like for us? What does 2020 look like? And they said, it will be the last year, uh, last recognizable year of, of modern man. And I was like, what the shit? What does that mean? <laughs> yeah. Can you expand on that? And they're just like, all the systems as we know it are, are you know, just being torn down. As we speak, there's going to be a great uproar. Things are, you know, on a mass global scale. Everything is going to change. Last recognizable year of, of modern man. It may be unrecognizable to many people. One year from now, that's it last recognizable year of, of modern man. It may be unrecognizable to many people one year from now. That's it. Do you see a common theme going on here? That's validation. That's what I'm talking about. When I, I tell you guys, get on here, tell your story. Um, when I have these videos, um, everyone's got amazing stories to tell. And when you put it out there, you'll get these validations from other people that are going through the same thing as you're going through now myself. I'm one of those uh, responders. I, I pick up things a little before other people get them. And in this case, um, it just happened to be that what you're going to see by the end of this year is going to be unrecognizable to what we know of our planet right here, right now. It's going to be an incredible, incredible year. It's going to be crazy. And this month, is just the beginning of it. And that's why it's been so crazy. This is a prelude leading up to what we're going to see by the end of the year. So he said he put out that video on January 4th. Three days later, I did a video on the incoming energies on January 12th and 13th. And I ended up doing a video on the side as well that I saved for this energy report showing you what happened then. Let's play that clip. So here's something I want to show you. And this is the solar wind. And on the day that I'm recording, this would be uh, January 8th, 2020. And we recently had a coronal mass ejection. And what we're looking at right here is Earth. And this was an earth facing coronal mass ejection. And what we're looking at is the date on when it's expected to impact earth. So what we're seeing is right between the 12th and the 13th of this month. So as you can see, we had this coronal mass ejection facing earth heading towards us expected to arrive on the anywhere between the 11th through the 13th, coinciding with the lunar eclipse that was going on. Now, when I was doing this video, it was made mention in the chat room on the side that there was this Schumann resonance rainbow stripe that had occurred. And this formed during the, the video that we were doing. Yesterday, I did a video and it's called, So Remind Me Again, Why Did I Incarnate Into This Shithole? And lo and behold, what happens again yesterday? Another rainbow Schumann resonance stripe. So let's check those out. So here's the first one I was telling you about. And then we had another one happen yesterday, something similar to, to that, but like this. 
Now, what I want you to look at too is this line right here, which is the base frequency. This is where Earth is at basically all times or supposed to be at 7.83. And that's why we see this line going across right here. But throughout the year, what we're seeing is this other line coming in doubled the frequency of 7.83 up to 16 and beyond. You, you can see that it's actually a little below 16 marker, more towards the 20 than the 12. So what does this mean? So what we're seeing are the merging of timelines. If you look at the base frequency of Earth, it's usually 7.83, which we find right here on this line. And what, what do we see right here? We see another line going through right, right here at a little above 16, more towards the 20 than the 12, slightly below that 16.0 marker right there. It's almost double that of what is our normal Earth-based frequency on the Schumann resonance of 7.83. And you can also see here, I'm going to enlarge this picture. Here's another one going across at 20. Uh, and there has been an occasion where we've seen down here where it says 40. We've seen uh, lines going down there as well in the past month or so. So this would explain a lot. Um, in, in regards to perhaps Mandela effects, timelines merging, um, even even uh, that project uh, Looking Glass where we're boiling down to two timelines, uh, divergent ones that are going in opposite directions. One is basically where people get left behind. The other one's where we move forward in our spiritual progression, which anyone watching this, that's where we're heading. So nothing to fear there. But we're also seeing this overlap right now of perhaps what's what's going on in our immediate reality and this all ties in to that that prediction that that i made as well as allison co where by the end of the year what you're seeing right now is going to be totally unrecognizable from what it is right now i'm going to leave it off at that there's so much more to cover that i'll be covering on the n5d patreon version of this the extended version so I encourage you to join me there. I encourage you to stop at n5d.net to check out shirts like this. And uh, they're magical. They have that 99.9% uh, .9 quartz crystal sand infused into the shirts. People say they wear them at night and have magical dreams. So yeah, check that out. And uh, check us out on Patreon also because what we're going to be doing, what we have set up is every month there's an inside, N5D Insiders private chat where you can come on and say anything. It's not going out here on YouTube or any social media. It stays within the group um, unless there's something really important and I get the permission of whoever's saying it, which might even be myself or other people, then we'll, we'll put that out there. You're not gonna miss out on anything that's ultra important, but it's a way for people to communicate without having this big public Forum and some people don't want their what they have to say said in front of a large group or made public so that's why we have that and there's other benefits to being on n5d patreon you can check that out i'll leave a link below and as always what i do is i play the bumper music for an additional five minutes here on youtube so you'll be able to uh, chat in, in the uh, chat room for a little while longer so until the next time this is Greg from N5D sending you all infinite love and light. Namaste.